Creating an environment like the spot we're going to today is taking years of dedication. This place looks especially good because of all the extra bits that have gone on around the trails just to make it really stand out and the jumps at this particular spot are a work of art in themselves. The trail's culture is definitely a lot different from the culture that you'd find at a skate park, for instance, because the guys will go and find the perfect piece of land and they'll graft all winter, they'll get together, big community spirit, and they'll build their trails from nothing. And that's their utopia when they're just in the woods, riding the thing that they've created with their own hands. As a photographer, to be allowed to shoot at a set of trails that you may not have even been to before, there has to be a huge element of trust between you and the guys whose trails they are. Trails are a very personal thing to the, the guys who own them, and some people will simply not want any exposure in any kind of publication. You always have to bear it in mind the wishes of the, the guys who own the jumps with regards to where your pictures end up. The thing I really get out of photography is that you never stop learning. There's always a new technique, a new angle. You know, I love interacting with subjects who I'm photographing because they might come up with an idea that I hadn't thought of, which is equally brilliant. It's a passion of mine. And when I first started, I just started off as a little hobby and I was excited by learning every time I went out to take pictures. That's never stopped. And I don't think it will ever stop. Sometimes I can be shooting the same trick a few times just to get that perfect moment. Getting to that point is basically taking years of practice. It's now instinct, but when it's all going right and I get it, there's relief, there's excitement. But what's best is when the rider comes over, they have a look at it and they're super stoked as well. Like it's a great partnership. be an amazing photographer in any other field but to be a BMX photographer working with top level riders you have to know the sport inside out and to ultimately do justice to the scenario that you're in to the rider and ultimately to myself as a photographer. My name is Duncan Smith and I'm a BMX photographer.